after Drake and Josh became Nickelodeon's highest rated series premiere in nearly 10 years. And you, you're gonna be my, he's gonna be my, hug me brother! After Drake and Josh in 2006 ranked consistently among the top 10 most watched television shows of the week and became the top rated live action series amongst children aged two to 11 years old and averaged three million viewers at the time. You made that whole story up. No, you started that fight. You calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. After Drake and Josh won 13 awards, received two films, and broke the record of the most viewers for a premiere of a Nickelodeon film with nine million viewers. We stole the grills. We took the risk. Oh, okay. That's all I needed to hear. Gentlemen, buddy, guy, meet the FBI. FBI, meet buddy and guy. You set us up. Yeah, I did. Drake and Josh has been off the air for 14 years now. Believe it or not, beginning its run in 2004, the Nickelodeon show enjoyed four seasons of solid ratings before its ending in 2007. With 56 episodes, Drake and Josh has been labeled as one of Nickelodeon's most successful television programs of all time. When Drake and Josh was in its final season, the show experienced its highest ratings ever. The last ever episode, Really Big Shrimp, was Nickelodeon's most viewed live action show at the time, having pulled in nearly 6 million viewers. However, it was later broken broken by their own holiday special television, Merry Christmas Drake and Josh, when it premiered in 2006. The series led to a Drake and Josh soundtrack, two video games, and a book series published by Scholastic. In fact, the show was never actually cancelled. The stars had grown up and it was time to head out to the big world of Hollywood and try something new. Fans will also be happy to hear that there is a potential reunion in the works. The series featured two teenage stepbrothers, Drake Parker and Josh Nichols, who lived in San Diego, California, with Drake's biological mother, Audrey, younger sister, Meg Megan and Josh's biological father, Walter. Drake is cool and popular, having his own band and being a ladies man, yet is known to be absent-minded, while Josh is the intellectual, clumsy, and awkward brother, yet very loving and caring. The two boys are often involved in comedic adventures and challenges while also handling an array of teenage problems. In Josh and Drake Go to Hollywood, the boys accidentally send Megan to Los Angeles instead of Denver, and they end up stopping a multi-billion dollar heist and booking a guest spot for Drake on TRL. While in Merry Christmas, Drake and Josh, the boys try and give a foster family the best Christmas ever. Since the show's finale, the cast has gone on to do their own work, and some of the headlines are insane. One of the brothers went on to file bankruptcy for losing his home, had his music career hampered by a horrible injury, and serving jail time for his second DUI. While the other brother recently became a star as Scott Turner on Disney Plus's upcoming TV adaptation of Turner and Hooch, in addition to becoming a successful Vine star and starting a comedic lifestyle YouTube channel, Shaw Vlog, featuring David Dobrik, his wife, Paige Osborne, and many other Vlog Squad members. It appears that Hollywood hit much different for Drake and Josh. What's going on guys, it's Clyde Smith, and today we're doing a series titled Where Are They Now? Where we are taking a look at the star-studded cast of Drake and Josh and what they're up to these days. I mean, maybe you know a bit about Drake and Josh and what they're up to. I mean, the stories have been crazy. If you want to see more Where Are They Nows, let us know down in the comments who you want us to document next. Anyways, let's get into this video. something. Ooh, can't talk. Got a limbo. Drake Bell's reputation as the lovable child star was tarnished after a number of controversies including legal issues and allegations of abuse. Things went downhill fast for Bell in 2013 when he filed for bankruptcy. Bell claims that he reportedly only made $14,000 that year, way down from the $400,000 he banked the previous year. Bell claims that he is only pulling in $2,820 a month, but his expenses totaled a whopping $18,771. In addition, Bell owed a ton of cash in taxes, with no other option, Bell was forced to take his $2 million home and sell it, as it was foreclosed the same year and listed in 2014. Drake fell off the wagon again shortly after the release of his long-awaited third record, 2014's Rockability, inspired by Ready Steady Go. However, the album bombed as it peaked at 182, more than 100 spots lower than his previous album. Things got worse for Drake when he suffered what doctors told him would be a likely career-ending injury. In November 2014, Bell shattered his wrist, 
diving into a swimming pool and he tweeted that doctors say I will most likely never play guitar again. Bell tweeted, it's over. But lucky enough, that turned out to be untrue. However, Bell was forced to take a lengthy break to recover and never really made a comeback. While fans may have not seen a lot of Drake Bell's face after his run with Drake and Josh, if you're into superheroes, chances are you may have heard his voice. Drake went on to play the iconic Marvel character Peter Parker, also known as uh, Spider-Man in the animated series Ultimate Spider-Man from 2012 to 2016. Drake also reprised a role for Avengers Assemble between 2013 to 2015. In fact, Bell became such a favorite among Spider-Man's superfans that many wanted him to be given a shot to play Peter Parker in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, Drake eventually lost out on the role to star Tom Holland. Drake made headlines for the wrong reasons yet again after Caitlyn Jenner's transition. He tweeted, Sorry, still calling you Bruce, which he eventually deleted. After receiving backlash, Drake doubled down with, I'm not dissing him, he said. I just don't want to forget his legacy. He is the greatest athlete of all time. Greatest of all time. I don't know, maybe LeBron James or Serena Williams has something to answer for that. Drake also went after Justin Bieber online after the Bieber and Lil Za drama where he was arrested for drug possession. Drake tweeted at Bieber, how much are you paying Lil Za to take the coke rap for you? Be a man and take responsibility. Learn to be an adult instead of egging, speeding around your neighborhood and defacing property like a little sh you should practice your guitar. Drake Bell also went on to be arrested for two DUI charges, the first coming in 2010 after he was caught allegedly driving under the influence the year before in San Diego, though he did manage to avoid jail time. On December 21st, 2015, for driving under the influence in Glendale, California at 2.45 a.m., police officers witnessed him swerving and driving well over the speed limit. In September 2016, Bell was found guilty and sentenced to four days in jail and four years probation and would be required to attend and an alcohol education program, Bell served only one day for good behavior. In August 2020, his former girlfriend, Melissa Linkfeld, posted a TikTok video where she accused him of verbal and physical abuse during their three-year relationship in the late 2000s. Bell has denied the allegations and claimed that Melissa asked him to provide her with financial support during a rough time, which he did. I, I love your commercials. You need a car, you need a truck, you need a van. Come see stay in the car, man. It appears that between the two brothers, Josh has certainly had an easier transition from being a former child star. Some of Peck's film work after Drake and Josh includes The Wackness, Drillbit Taylor, and was also the voice of Eddie in the Ice Age film series. In addition, Peck had reoccurring roles on Fox's The Mindy Project from 2013 to 2014 and voiced a character on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 2013 to 2017. Peck also developed a strong relationship with John Stamos after starring alongside him on Grand grandfathered from 2015 to 2016. Both Peck and Stamos are nominated for a 2016 People's Choice Award in the category Favorite Actor in a New TV Series. Fun fact, grandfathered was the only time Drake and Josh were reunited on screen from their former child star days. In February 2020, it was announced that Peck had been casted in the title role of U.S. Marshal Scott Turner II in the sequel series of Turner and Hooch, which is set to be released on the streaming service Disney+. In addition to staying busy in show business, Josh is quite the social media influencer as well. Josh was a prominent personality on the video sharing service Vine prior to it being shut down and continues to be active on Snapchat. Peck made several features on David Dobrik's vlog, becoming a frequent contributor to the Vlog Squad series before pursuing his own YouTube channel. However, despite Dobrik and Josh being longtime friends, as of April 3rd, all traces of the YouTuber vanished from Peck's Instagram page. Peck literally scrubbed every mention and picture of Dobrik from his account going all the way back to 2019 when Dobrik won a Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award. Peck is an active influencer on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, where he has 10.5 million followers, 3.7 million subscribers, and 3.5 million followers, respectively. In addition, Peck also currently has a podcast called Curious with Josh Peck, produced by Ramble, where he interviews celebrities such as John Stamos and Bob Saget, discussing not only current topics, but their personal lives. In June 2017, Peck married his longtime girlfriend, Paige O'Brien, while former Drake & Josh star Drake Bell was infamously not invited to the wedding. In August 2018, the couple announced that they were expecting their first child, their son Max, who was born in December. There was a lot of wedding drama between the two as Drake famously tweeted, when you're not invited to the wedding, the message is clear. True colors have come out today. Messaging is loud and clear. Ties are officially cut. I'll miss you, brother. The tweets were quickly deleted. However, the internet was quick to snag some screenshots of the drama. Apparently, Josh claims that he got the worst of it as people literally yelled at him on the street 
asking why he didn't invite Drake to the wedding. However, the two have since made up, and Josh's response was that he didn't think Drake would actually come to the wedding. Plus, he left all the planning to his wife. Okay, I think I'll bring this where are they now to an end right here. After checking out the cast members of Drake and Josh, what did you guys think? If you'd like to see more of this series, please be sure to let me know who's next down in the comment section below. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.